guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to show you my February 2020 um, boxy charm. I am so excited. This is my second box, and I'm super excited to see what's inside. But I figured before we get into this, I'm going to do a little roundup of last month's um, boxy charm items that I got and just tell you if I've tried them, if I like it. Um, two things I have not tried from January's box is this Skin & Co um, face exfoliant and it's a pretty big size. I just have not gotten around to trying it yet but I'm excited to do so um, soon. And then the Grande Drama Mascara I haven't tried yet just because I'm I have a bunch of mascaras already open right now so I'm gonna wait until I use one up but I did receive that last month and then this Avant sleeping mask. It's the 8 hour radiance renewal sleeping mask. I used this once and I really liked how it made my skin feel and I liked how you can leave it on um, and you don't have to wash it off in the morning. So love this so far. So far so good. This Dr. Brandt eye cream, the 24-7 retinol eye cream with ruby crystal complex. I really do like it. I've used it a bunch of times but I don't really see a huge difference, but I do like it nonetheless. Um, this Too Faced highlighter in Fancy Pink Diamond, the packaging, everything is gorgeous. Um, the highlighter itself isn't anything crazy. It's kind of lackluster, but I do like that it's pink, you know, and I do like how it looks on my skin. It's just not as blinding or as you know, bam in your face as I prefer, but I do like it, love the packaging. And lastly, um, I picked a like free palette with joining BoxyCharm and I got the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series palette and I've tried out the cream shade and these pinks and purples. I haven't tried out the neutrals or this emerald and I've tried the black actually. So I've tried pretty much half the palette and I really love the formula very creamy and nice looking on the eyes I loved I did a pink and purple look uh, towards around Valentine's Day time and I really enjoyed the look that I created so really impressed with this little guy so far so that's all that January had to offer I did not film myself opening that one so I thought I'd kind of review what I got and let's just dive in for February. I am so excited. I really like BoxyCharm so far. You get five full size products and it's about $25 a month and you get way more than $25. Most of the time one product is $25. For last month's bag, uh, box I got like $170 worth of products pretty much. So I'm super excited. Before I open it, um, I did see one spoiler. I clicked on something and I like immediately got out of it because I was like, no, 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 I don't want any spoilers. And I think I saw brushes and possibly a first aid beauty product. That's all I saw and I like quickly got out of it. So that might be, that's all I know. Okay. Ooh, ooh. All right, all right. Oh my gosh. So this month's theme is... A door. Here is, oh, I'm so excited because of, you know, you know, Valentine's Day. I don't want to look, but okay. Okay, so first off, I see three brushes, so I was right about that. Wow, three brushes is really nice. Let's see. How do we open? There has to be a way to open this. There we go. <laughs> I'm so excited, oh my gosh. So what is the brand of these? I can't believe I got three brushes, oh my god. Here, let me put this down. Okay, so the brand is Alamar. Oh my god, I haven't tried Alamar Cosmetics yet. Oh, I love this brush. It's called the Brightening Brush. This is exactly the type of brush I love to use for setting my concealer with powder. Ooh, that is so gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is a brush I will use. I'm like picky with brushes sometimes, but this looks gorgeous. It says Alamar right here, and it's like 
bronzy orange really sleek packaging the next one I love how they have these little like things on them to keep them in place whoa <laughs> what is this bronzer brush and it has these little like I don't even know that's really interesting I'm kind of scared to use this but I will try it out whoa very weird very soft and nice but like I've never seen a brush with like little dots like that <laughs> weird but cool different I like it and then we have a complexion brush this is probably the brush I would use for bronzer I know they claim this is a bronzer brush but this is kind of a nice like angled brush you could use it for blush you could use it for bronzer um wow I didn't know these were Alamar I like again I saw the picture and I quickly clicked out of it but I saw that there were brushes these are so nice and they feel really sturdy and I'm super excited to use these so awesome brushes from Alamar Cosmetics then I see a Kate Somerville active uh, concentrate biomimicking peptides serum smooth and firm awesome I'm actually using the Ola Hendrickson truth serum and I'm pretty close to being done eventually like I'm trying to use it a little more sparingly so this is awesome I have a new serum to try out I'm really excited I've never tried Kate Somerville I've never tried Alamar I'm hoping they're cruelty free I will have to do some research after this this has like a nice little dropper smells like skincare <laughs> not a bad smell very cool I like how it's smoothing and firming that definitely sounds intriguing and I'm really excited about this and it says five peptide blend it has all these ingredients and reshaping serum a.m. and p.m. so I'm excited to try this little guy out I love skincare I gotta get more skincare then I see something Ooh, oh my gosh Okay, it's a setting powder from Ciate London. I love Ciate London. Um, it is the Coconut Setting Powder Everyday Vacay. Oh my gosh, they're... Oh, I just ripped this packaging, but I love their little logo. Ooh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have not tried a powder from them, but here it is. It looks to be translucent. Yeah, it doesn't say. It just says coconut, so does it smell like coconut? I love the bow on the top, by the way. I don't know if it smells like coconut, but it's just a regular setting powder. I'm really excited to try this. I have been on the hunt for a new um, cruelty-free setting powder because the powders I used before were not cruelty-free, and I recently went cruelty-free for 2020, so... Yeah, I'm super excited to use this powder. It's full-sized. Ciate is an amazing brand. I know I've heard so many good things about Alamar, so super excited about that. I have two more products. Pretty Vulgar Fox Reels Extreme Volume Mascara. This is funny. I actually just heard a YouTuber talking about this mascara. It's in Black Swan. Oh, look at how pretty this packaging is. Oh my gosh, it has little birds all around it that is gorgeous honestly that is so great I don't want to open it yet because again I'm using through mask I'm going through mascaras right now I have a bunch open that I need to use up before I open up a new one just because of drying it out and stuff but this is gorgeous and I will definitely try this out oh I'm so excited this is a really really good box and then I have one product left it is the, I don't even, does it say Oveen? Wifey Lip Matte Liquid Lip Stain. Okay, what is this brand? It's like really hard to see, but I think it says either Queen or Oveen. Like I can't tell if it's a Q or an O. There it is. I've never heard of this brand, but I absolutely love this color. It looks kind of similar 
to what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing the colored Rain liquid lipstick or matte lip paint, sorry, in 24-7. It looks similar but just more like, more mauve more purple maybe. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, this is definitely a color I would wear. Did it say it was a liquid? I think it said it was a liquid lipstick, so I hope it dries down a little bit. Wifey, matte liquid lip satin. Whoa, that's so pretty. I will definitely wear this. I think this is a gorgeous shade. So yeah, this was an awesome box. I didn't get an eyeshadow palette. I want to get eyeshadow palettes from them, but I have enough, so I'm, I'm totally happy with everything. So in total, we got three brushes from Alomar Cosmetics. Let's read the little insert they have in here. Um, the three-piece cruelty-free um, brush set. Perfect. $36 uh, retail. So super excited about that. We got the serum. This is probably really expensive from Kate Somerville. Uh, $98. 97% of women reported their skin appeared visibly tighter. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, wow, I'm going to use those for sure. Ciate London, $22 for this powder. I can't wait to try it. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. Then Pretty Vulgar has this gorgeous mascara, which I've actually heard at least one YouTuber talking good about it. And then the uh, Queen. I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's like Queen, but with a V. Um, <laughs> matte Liquid Lip Satin for 12 hour performance with one coat. This is $17. Did I say this was $23? So, wow, I can't do the math in my head, but I know that's definitely well over 25 this at least was 98 so oh my gosh this is so awesome i really love this uh box and yeah i'm definitely gonna use all of these products if they're good hopefully i hope they're good but i love this lip color it's gorgeous i'm a little the only thing i'm like iffy about is this weird brush but i want to try it like i'm excited we got it but I'm just like, what's going on here? But yeah, I love everything and I'm super excited. I'm trying to think what I'm most excited for. I love this packaging on this mascara. That's so cool. I think I'm most excited for this setting powder. Like I have been wanting a new powder um, and I've been buying like drugstore ones that are not really doing the best job so I'm really excited for this I I'm so excited for everything I like the serum I need a new serum so this is perfect these brushes you always I always need new brushes I always like new brushes um this I absolutely love this color like oh my gosh this is this is crazy um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm, I'm kind of all over the place I'm just really excited for everything that I got um and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time thanks bye